Swindon boss Danny Wilson described his team's contest against Colchester as their biggest game of the season, and it didn't start too promisingly, as the visitors opened the scoring on 21 minutes. Clive Platt nodding on for Ashley Vincent to tickle the ball into the net. Although the former Cheltenham man paid a heavy price for his bravery, he would play no further part in this one. But if new Colchester boss A.D. Boothroyd was hoping for a first victory under his tenure, he was in for a disappointment. Ben Hutchinson embarked on a run which seemed to go on forever, and when he finally found a man in space, Tope Owadei, who's on loan from Bolton, had all the time he needed to pick his spot to perfection. 1-1 about right for two teams who remain dark horses for promotion. Swindon haven't lost a game at home this season and were looking to carry on from their 1-0 win over the Oval last week. Colchester have drawn their last two away games and headed to the county ground in good spirits. New Colchester boss A.D. Boothroyd didn't have long to wait for his side to score. Ashley Vincent lifted the ball over Phil Smith for his second of the season. Vincent was stretched off for his troubles. Town were back level just before half-time. On loan Tope Adebayi calmly struck home for Swindon. The home team were looking to build on their strong finish to the first half and on his first appearance, striker Alex Revel was unlucky not to put Swindon ahead with this effort off the crossbar. Simon Ferry could have won the game for Swindon minutes later but his shot skimmed the far post. It finished all square between Swindon and Colchester at the county ground. Just one point and one place separated Swindon and Colchester, who'd won their last three games against the Robins. Danny Wilson welcomed the U's new boss, A.D. Boothroyd, to the county ground. The former Watford manager enjoyed his second match in charge of the Essex side, who started with a flourish. Clive Platt almost scoring in the very first minute. The visitors eventually took the lead midway through the first half. Ashley Vincent struck his second of the season, but injured himself in the process. The former Cheltenham striker could play no further part in the match. Sadly for him, he was forced off. Swindon were hoping to secure a third consecutive victory, and might have drawn level but for a superb save by Ben Williams, who denied John Paul McGovern. Swindon were actually defending a corner when they got themselves back on level terms and they managed it courtesy of a swift counter-attack. The match had reached first half stoppage time when Ben Hutchinson made his way upfield, biding his time before releasing Tope Obadei, who provided the emphatic finish. In the second half, Swindon's on loan signing Alex Revel struck the bar. Colchester were hanging on at this stage. Colchester had claimed just a point from their last three games, having won their first three. However, the U's almost regained their lead here through Kevin Lisby. The Robins have improved considerably after a shaky start. Simon Ferry curled his effort off target here. Swindon aimed to secure a fourth win in five matches and it took some outstanding defending by John White to prevent Billy Painter from finding a winner. Swindon were thankful that Colchester's Simon Hackney blasted over, both sides taking a point. Swindon Town are also in the playoff zone but fell behind early on as former Cheltenham winger Ashley Vincent beat goalkeeper Phil Smith who was deputising for the injured David Lucas. Vincent played no further part after being injured scoring the goal. The Robins hit back on the stroke of half-time with a textbook counter-attack. Manager Danny Wilson has strengthened his strike force with loan signings Ben Hutchison and Tope Obadei, and the pair combined to devastating effect. Celtics Hutchison led the charge, with Bolton striker Obadei applying the finish.